it is darkest before the dawn, and uh, the best time in, to invest, according to Warren Buffett and the great investors uh, of our time and of all time, uh, is when there is so-called blood in uh, the street. It's a crude saying, uh, but it means when markets are uh, deeply into bear territory. Um, you should have, uh, uh, th there's a cycle of fear and greed, uh, and both are healthy. Uh, the, the, the fear should occur at the top of cycles, taking profits, and the so-called greed part of that dynamic should occur at the bottom of cycles. And surely after maybe an 80% uh, reduction in, uh, on average in uh, our various strategies, um, uh, we are closer to the bottom, certainly, than to the top as we were in uh, February 2021. Kathy Wood, CEO and CIO of ARK Invest, outlined to investors that she believes that markets are currently in a recession and that inflation has peaked on Tuesday. Wood said in an interview, we think we are in a recession. The innovation bull also stated that yes, inflation peaked. We believe core inflation peaked at 5.3%. Wood expanded on her thoughts, adding, we think that inflation during the years ahead is going to surprise significantly on the low side of expectations. Kathy Wood says investors are looking at the wrong historical period in making comparisons with the current high inflation environment. Inflation, she noted, went from 24% in June 1920 to 15% in June 1921. While she's not forecasting inflation of 15%, she did assert that inflation on a year-over-year -year basis will turn negative. What's happened during the last few years is going to flip, and we think that the market will flip back to a preference for growth stocks and our innovation strategy, Wood said. Investors seem hesitant to invest now for long-term growth given supply chain uh, disruptions and the economic downturn uh, caused by rising interest rates. Why do we believe that now is a once-in-a-century investment opportunity? Well, a couple of reasons. Innovation solves problems, uh, and we have a lot more problems now. Even more than during COVID, uh, we have uh, corporations now experiencing margin pressure, and uh, we have individuals, consumers, perhaps worrying about their jobs. And when we get into a period like this, uh, businesses and consumers are willing to change the way they do things, uh, and and they embrace innovation, innovative solutions to their problems. Now, this once in a century is uh, is not an understatement. Um, we have not seen more innovation platforms evolve at the same time ever. Kathy Wood and her investing firm ARK Invest recently purchased another 74,862 Tesla shares at $156.80 per share. In the question and answer session with ARK Invest, she was asked about buying Tesla and other stocks during the downturn and the prices have fallen further with worsened performance decline with interest rates and prices fluctuating so widely, then will an investment focus on innovation work? But before listening to Kathy's thoughts, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. You have been buying more Tesla and other stocks during the downturn, uh, and, and yet the prices have fallen further and our performance decline has worsened. Uh, with interest rates and prices uh, fluctuating so widely, and in, in this case, they probably mean increasing, uh, will an investment focus on innovation work? Well, uh, we believe that the leading indicator, correctly, is inflation, and it, it has peaked. The inflation rate has peaked. Uh, almost uh, every measure of inflation has peaked. Uh, most of those uh, metrics peaking out in March or June uh, of this year, in the first or the second quarter. Uh, so typically, that's a, a, a good thing for innovation. Uh, but as I just mentioned, I think the market is so skittish and has been so terrorized by the most rapid increase in interest rates ever. We have never seen an 18-fold increase in interest rates within one year. It has truly terrorized the markets. And uh, I think that the fear is palpable. 
Uh, in fact, I think according to the Bank of America um, surveys, recent surveys of fund managers and advisors, it's probably the advisors, uh, we haven't seen this amount of cash on, on the sidelines since uh, I think it was 2006, maybe even 2001. Uh, I do know also the same survey shows that the put-to-call ratio uh, in the U.S. market, meaning um, those short relative to those long uh, put calls, um, is at 1.5 now, and it has not been that high since 2001. Uh, so we have an incredible amount of fear in the market, and that actually is the best time to average into these markets. Kathy Wood reiterated her skepticism on auto debt, saying a shift to electric vehicles could worsen the already declining used car prices. We're in a housing market bubble being fueled right now by low inventory and massive fear and emotion of missing out. All of those things combined is essentially going to lead to a recession which will then lead to a massive bubble, unlike anything we've ever seen in the history of the US housing market. So it's going to be interesting to hear her thoughts on the housing market. So we think that's going to show through in terms of inflation. And very importantly, uh, housing has taken it on the chin this year. Usually the Fed is very sensitive to that. Autos as well, they never, they really went nowhere. And now used car pricing is down 14% on a year over year basis. Uh, so, so inflation will come down, and, and innovation actually is going to be part of that equation. Uh, the truly disruptive innovation platforms around which we have centered our research, so gene sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and especially artificial intelligence, as well as blockchain technology, all of them are deflationary in, in nature. Good deflation, it, it should cause a boom in the products and services associated uh, with, with innovation. But deflation, another source of deflation. So uh, our confidence there is building. We've been right on the inventory build, the commodity price decline. Uh, and I think normally the, the market would have responded already. The market is waiting for the Fed. And uh, we think the Fed's rhetoric will change first, and then its actions will change. And we think that's all going to take place in 2023. Well, that's it for today. What are your thoughts after listening to Kathy Wood? Do tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting information. Thanks for watching.